Yo, everybody, let's get right into it. Adventure Time, Season 10, Episode 7, Marcy and Hunson. Hey. Swordsmith deity from Peppermint. I saw the title card. I'm not going to say anything. Let's go into it. This new sword is guaranteed to defend you against Princess Bubblegum's heinous family. Ooh. Uncle Gumball. Aunt Lolly. Cousin Chicle. I like your swordsmith hat. I'm wearing it in honor of my special guest. Am I? <laughs> this sword will Ooh. serve you much better than your old cursed grass sword. What is it called? This sword is also cursed. But it has a compass in the hilt. <laughs> Neat. Do we call this the compass sword? Now for one more thing. The special guest I now will. <laughs> oh, Bobus come, it comes for freedom. Oh. Once an Abadir. Brought him back. Then the human. And Jake the dog. Hey, did Marceline call me? It is I who summoned you. I humbly ask you for an... Okay. I proclaim King you Adolf your sword? The Night Sword. Night Sword. Now, to send you back. Not so fast. It's like I got a free flight here. I'm gonna go see my little girl. Back in the hole, Marceline's dad. Mm. Stuff. Please give us more backs, please. Maybe it's too late for me, but it's one of the things I've wanted. Oh, I'm so ashamed of the things I've done. <laughs> Have some dignity, man. All right, you may leave the circle for one day. We <laughs> time to suck some souls. <laughs> hey, what gives? Phantom man. <laughs> You're full of game, Finn. Let's go see Marcy. <laughs> sword making, pet butt. Yo, see you guys at the concert. Is a concert? Walk in into not sucking out soon. Walk, 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 not suck, suck, suck. Walk, walk, walk. I just realized too. All our characters got kind of shitty dads. I think besides uh. So What's my Joseph. monster up to these days? Is she still all goody goody? Still half FP. vampire? Started dating anyone? Yes, yes, then, no, then yes again. And maybe? Um. Marceline. Look, maybe cool it with the prying around Marceline. <laughs> oh, Chicle, have you finally discovered the vampire girl's weakness? I think so. <laughs> Chuckling mode off. Mm. They've been spying. I don't think she's gonna want this. You know, now that we're here, I'm having second thoughts. Yeah. It just seems like no matter what I do, I always tick that girl off. Mm hmm. There it is. Marceline, long time no see. Some goober with glasses summoned me. What's that thing? Just gonna put this here, okay? Now let's go suck some souls. Oh my god. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh. Um. Dad, what are you doing here? I'm in town for the week, and I don't really have a place. To How many souls did he suck on his way here? Oh, I guess like zero, but see? I made been a cool new sword and everything. I guess you can crash here. Great. I like the sweater. Thanks for inviting me. That is not what's happening. Scott here. Invite them in, Marceline. <laughs> Do you have a... I just have to freshen up. How can he climb? Is my dad really behaving himself this time? He's just been singing songs and... 
a minute. I'm an old guy. <laughs> hey, excuse my unsociableness. There's just one thing. The Venetian blinds in your bathroom kind of jump. Just by going to the bathroom. Let me make it up to you. I got some soy sauce and some ketchup. I'm good. What? There's an SD card, some twist ties. I don't want any of this junk. Yeah, she feels. Hey, I'm gonna need a place to sleep. Um. Right? Do you have an air? Yeah, it's like trying to buy her, or you can sleep on the air mattress, and I'll. Just kind of giving her stuff that she doesn't need or want. It's in the closet. Finn, are you gonna let my little girl blow up that air mattress? No. Hey, Dad, I think I'm gonna go out for a walk before bedtime. But Marcy, don't you have a solo gig tonight? I get it, it's air mattress talk. Aren't you giving a concert tonight? At the Ghost Amphitheater? Uh. Jake? Let's go! Oh yeah, her songs she performs uh they're about uh him. Do you hear like a really stupid sounding laugh? Yes. I have a nice laugh. <laughs> or are you gonna see a high five ghost? <laughs> Time to blend in completely unnoticed. <gasps> hey, what you got there, peanuts? <laughs> No PB. Oh yeah, she's on lockdown, huh? Ooh, what is the hair? Haven't started yet. What the hair? Slow down. Just wanna slow. Ooh. I know all the nothing smooth and mm. Dance with you. If you I just want harmonizing, okay. Why don't you take the chance? I prove I want. Nice. Baker. Unless your family, yoink. God, you're wrecking the show. This is. Uh. I made that. Sit down, man. Yeah, you're killing the vibe. Uh, I'm just explaining my part in all this. You don't have a part in this, bro. This is her thing. Yeah. Don't worry, honey. I'll work the crowd. Hey. <sighs> so like oblivious. Can you believe Marceline has a bougie trash daddy? I heard this guy even eats ghosts. You know, like us. Oh. Really? Times. Off the stage, skin sack. Okay, okay. Settle down. <sighs> Don't make me come out there. What you gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fist strike. No. Oh. Let's get him, fella. Let's get him. Oh, nice. Tad, quit clowning. <clears throat> Just having a little fun. He can't. Petbutt's bound his powers. What? They sassed you. Better pop that cork, Peps. All right, all right. <sighs> Chicle. Oh, we'll got him. <laughs> Ooh. He's a little infiltration. Oh. Uh, Finn's turn. 
My <laughs> first turn. I mean, like, the sword wouldn't have any effect on it, would it? It's just like Nidosphere powers. Hamburger eh. there will be no encore. My gracious. I'm so sorry you had to deal with Cousin Chicle's control. It is. It's fine. My cool daughter took care of it. And guess what I got from a vendor? <laughs> it looks too big to me, but they said that's. <laughs> Thanks for standing up for me tonight. I'm bad, but I'm not so bad, right? So when are you gonna have some kids? Jesus. Okay. Um. This reminds me of the episode where she retells the Bonnie story. I just don't think this really does anything. I think it's cool that we see him and he kind of still is oblivious and insensitive towards her. And again, just we're shown that he really hasn't taken accountability or even try to hear her out. And she always gets kind of displeased or uncomfortable because, well, he just doesn't get it. He doesn't understand. So I think we are shown that. But again, I just, I don't think it's really hitting. I don't think it's doing anything. I do like that Chicle, he is the one that's kind of doing something with the plot or being annoying. So that's nice that they're tackling that still that pb plot line into here but i don't know it just i think i'm a little bit underwhelmed with marceline after stakes i think sure there probably is a deeper meaning in terms of oh you see like this is the dynamic of her family and you know she's always felt this way and there's always going to be that awkward relationship with her dad and I understand that and I understand maybe that's even her character is that again she kind of needs to be very hidden just because then when she does express herself she gets hurt or she just doesn't get understood so again I get it from those sentimental emotional things I'm just saying that it's not really being presented better with reveals or with actually more information or history it's just kind of Oh, he's always been this way um, and continues to be that way. I think the first thing I think of is with Helga. Like, we know why Helga is the way that she is, but it's because, again, that's repeated actions. And then we kind of get inklings to her backstory, to her treatment. And I'm not saying like I want that to be this, but I think that's kind of the expectation or standard in terms of even if you're not fully shown the picture of what's going on, you at least can pick up the pieces and do stuff. This one just kind of sounds something like he was just being very neglectful. Again, I understand Big Bob, he's neglectful too. But we kind of understand that a little bit more. And it's more detailed. It's consistent. So I don't know. I really don't know. This is kind of hard. This is kind of hard. Um, because I still think it's a solid episode for what it is, but I think it just leaves a lot left to be desired. Yeah. <sighs> well, I think that's all I got. So, see you when I see you next one.